talk tie-down roping. The question is, can Fred Whitfield add his name to that qualifier list and beat the top ten in the world, finish in the top four of this round, and go to the shoot round, Tony? If he's ever had a chance, today's a day. He's got one of the best calves in the pen today, in my opinion. They've tied this calf at seven every time he's been out at the semifinals, except for once. They were eight them. They were eight on him. He's got a good chance today, but there's about three others that I think do, too. All right, here are the other qualifiers trying to become David, take down Goliath, and get a shot at the million, including Taylor Santos, the college champion, among some other guys that have got youth and age. Well, I'll tell you what, watch them last week that come through the qualification. Uh, they got game. These yeah. guys are talented. They'll tie these calves fast right here. Yes, Tim they will. Timber Moore is invited. He's from Albury, Texas, by way of British Columbia, Canada. Here's the man who won the Calgary Stampede, $100,000 last year. He also won the roping at the Windy Ryan just down the road over in uh, Fort Worth. And last year, finished third with an 879. Yes, Timber finished the year last year in 10th in the world standings. He's been on this stage before. He's been here last year on this stage. He knows, knows what it takes to get there. Oh, man. He reaches for this one. He's got him caught. He's got him down. Cat's going to strain a little bit and going to slow down that tie. 846 is going to set the pace in the round. You know, it happens one of two ways. Cat gets up anyways, but a lot of times if you get a good go like that and reach out there and it kind of falls on, a lot of times... That's when you're your fastest ever. But this calf's got some fire to him right here. And you see when he gets to the end of it, he's jumping around. You can tell he's not, he's, he, he, he squeezes a little bit there and won't let him just tie him up. Right there when that calf steps right away from, from Timber, he he doesn't have a lot of range. He, he's got down on his back end and lets, lets uh, Sterling do his thing with his slack to keep that calf on his feet. And then that's what they need to do today to tie these calves in long six, short seven. They've got to be standing on their feet. they got to be turned around. Spend a little time on their side. It's going to eat up too much clock. Here it is. Just like that. Look at him hold him up. He's after him right here. And he can run this spring. That's what we're talking about right there. Now, right. Up and a half. 7-7. Seven, seven. They've got a shot here today because it's the, the setup is set up for that. But I'm going to tell you, get by these top ten in the world standings, man, it's a knife fight. I'm telling you, it'll be tough. Here's a guy that knows how to win the 100,000. He did it in 2014, Tyson Durfee. He is a good horse for this setup, and, and Tyson can do it. Tyson is going at this camp. That's Look at the way he's turning him around. Kept him on his feet. Had to kind of pull twice at the flank. There but it is. still 7.48. Yeah, and you know, Tyson... He doesn't have to get it on their neck right out there. He's better if he sets it up because everything works real smooth. He didn't get that calf flanked as clean, but if he can get through this round with that time. You watch right here. He's on the start, and he sets his go up from the saddle horn. He pulls his slack. He's on the saddle horn with that left hand. comes controlling the go at the end of the road for that calf. You watch again in the replay overhead. Watch him get his left hand on that saddle horn. He controlled it. He didn't hit the ground so fast that he took that the calf took the jerk. He took the jerk. He pulled on that rope to lead. 6-6 six, six still tonight at San Antonio. Tied the 13-year-old arena record. He wins 23000 last night in the semi, I mean, in the final round. Hunter Heron of Apache, Oklahoma. He, he is, is fast. Here we go. He's changed horses. Here Look here. There. There's yes, sir. Six. There's your six. There's your six. This is going to be tough today. Whose horse is he riding? That's not the yes. sorrow horse, man. This is a different horse. This yeah. is his old horse, I oh. believe. He's changed horses on me. His good horse, Rambo, they sold him here by some horse show folks. And uh, C.R. Bradley has that horse right now. And uh, Hunter's riding a different horse. Wow. When you run down that rope, young kids out there, that's how you run in there playing yeah. the calf easily. And then he made a nice smooth run. He's not in a hurry. When Watch, he him reach. Right Watch him reach with that right hand right over that calf. He just picked him up, laid him, laid him down, and put the string on him. Laid him down. Go make your best run. So here's an underdog. The little-known Braxton Lofton from Westlake, Louisiana, trying to take down the top guys in the world. And right now he's amongst them at third with an 802. He makes a good run right here. He might have been a touch off the start. I'll say it's going to be tough to get by into the final four with that eight flat. I don't think any eights are going to make it. Me neither. <laughs> He kind of gets away from his horse when he ropes. He, he doesn't get to pull his slack. He kind of leaves, and he's just making a run here. It's not as smooth, he'd tell you that. But you know what? He's still eight. Now, now he's still got to beat me. You never know. He's got his down on paper, yeah. and the rest of the last year, you take a look at the standings so far. But we're just getting started. 
Little Marty gets a start. He can be fast on the ground. Uh oh, that, there you there you go. That's what you were talking about. That yep. camp was on the ground. He had to get him up, and he's still seven eight. How fast could he have been? Could he have been just really fast? Yeah. I you know, and I really, I'm really very impressed with Marty. He's have rope in his blood. You know, uh, he can run. He's really impressive. Yes. If he doesn't. That the calf doesn't go down. Well, he's going to be fast. You watch right here. He's kind of like Ricky Canton used to be. Ricky Canton would run them calves three or four swings, and you'd say, "Oh, he's going to be too long." You look up, and he was seven five, just because he wouldn't run him a, a swing further. He did a good job handling his slack. This calf, it just kind of ran back up underneath it, and that's what caused him to go down. What an athlete he is. He, he qualified over there you know, from Fort Worth, but I'm going to tell you, if he could have kept his calves standing on his feet at Fort Worth, he could have tied him in six over there. He roped outstanding. Yeah. That, that horse is moving pretty good when he ropes them, and that's causing those calves. Boy, he's fast. Oh! Uh, speed jam, but it all started with knocking the calf down. You've got to keep, keep them up, and your horse has got to be champion. Little horse change for him. His horse has been out hurt since the National National Finals rodeo. He's riding check matches out with Good Bay Mare. And the hurricane, he can go at him. He's still after him, even though he jerked him down. And still in there? Nope, nope. A little long. Little and he, long. When he ropes his calf and his horse stops, something something fouled where it just wasn't smooth. So when the horse's front feet come off the ground, that fouls his fall and it doesn't have that send out of the stirrup. Yeah. He knows that basically at that time, man. Right there, that horse just kind of come up the front end and kind of popped him in the in yeah. the jaw. Yeah, I can hit you right in the nose. But I tell you, old Hurricane don't have any quit about Boy, it. He'll he go at us. He's yes. got one speed. Cody Cassidy and Wade Sundell. Here's the guy that could put his name on the list before he saw him look sharp. Gets to that gap, blocks him off, stops him, and finishes even stronger. I'll tell you what. If he can keep his calves up today, he's the fastest guy here today. Another like day in Fort Worth. That was the only thing kept him from tying them all in seven. Wicked quick. He moves the sex act in the round behind Hunter Heron. Hey, he was in control. You watch here in this rerun. He takes an extra swing, gets a little closer. Look at this control of the slack. Sets it up. Watch a good flank. But Great two, flank. Two wraps and a hooey. And you can't ask for a situation to be any better because these calves, man, where he can run in there. This horse is trained by James Barton over in Stephenville, Texas. He's been a good one. Here's the guy's son of... The eight-time world champion, Super Looper, Roy Cooper, and is it going to be in six? Ooh. Oh, but he's second. If that calf stays tied, he eases back to the saddle. Broke the barrier. Broke the, broke the barrier. Happens in all-timed events. You still got to remember you got to score, and in the calf rope, get it around their neck, and then go make your run. Um, hey, the, the, same, the, the same deal applies. You got to score good. You got to put the long one on them. Then you got to go put the short one on them. And they'll tell you how fast you are. You can't leave the steps out. Right here, he rushes it. He starts early. Then he gets off fast and misses the saddle on, which he doesn't hold anyway. And he's after this calf. Yeah, that calf doesn't leave, you know. No, that's but, true. but that's a judgment. You know that, know that when you're sitting in the box right there. That's why these horses have to look down the down the pipe, they say. He's in his mouth. He's 17 years old. Cooper Magic is Cleveland, Texas with third to semifinals. His biggest title so far, the CPRA Rookie of the Year last year. There you go. Hey, I'm going to tell you what, this kid's confident. There, there's a fine line between cockiness and confident, but he is confident. He believes he belongs on this stage. He's only 17 years old. He hadn't been put in this position before, but he'll go at him and short neck catch. He's it's still up. He's got a shot. 17. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, 753. I asked him how to many times. You know what he said? Come get me. You know, that's all. He did all he could do. That's line. all you could do. That's what the American's about right there. The yeah, underdog. That's it. Oh, he, that's just, it. he just shows. That's it. And, and, oh, man, there's another Goliath that has some trouble. Don't quit watching. Oh, no. no He's still play. in. He, that's Shizawa. He, you can tell that. One down for young Cooper Matthews. He didn't get that invitation. He earned his way through the qualifiers. Taylor Santos from Preston, California, was second the semis. Yep, Taylor's been roping, roping down there in Huntsville, Texas, where he's living now, going to school, roping with Mike Arnold and Joe Beaver. And I'll tell you what, he's uh, stepped his roping up to another level now. The Santos family, uh, Dr. Frank Santos, but made awful nice runs. Hey, he's got him. Uh oh, a little slack in that rope, heading down. Didn't get tight enough. Where he'd get his hands on him quick enough. 
He did the job of, of spinning the calf around, but his he hands knows about good. grabbing money. Look at that, six million dollars in earnings. He's riding no deputy today. He's a good sorrow horse. You watch this horse here. He really makes things easy for Trevor. Heck, watching Trevor, he ought to be everybody's hero. Heck, he's my hero. I love to watch him, and you watch his horsemanship, but he's fast. Oh no, he fouls his rope. Oh, still in it. No, not now. He fouls his rope. He gets him rope fairly good, but that calf's going to the right so much, and that horse has a lot of pull, and he got, he got by him. He couldn't get Man. a go at him. Trevor Brazil moving on the team roping, but is not going to in the tight end. I don't know what Cooper's still doing over there, but I bet old Mike Matthews is doing some dancing <laughs> over there. He's ready. He's, he's not happened? wishing. Oh, he hung on his picket string. string. Oh. Look at the way he handled that rope to get I've, it out there, though. I've never seen that happen to Trevor. Have you ever seen a 17-year-old calf roper that won a million, how, how he acts if Cooper gets in there? No, I've not seen it. <laughs> Make sure the camera's on. Make sure the camera's on Cooper if he gets into that final round. He won $20,000. Look at that. Look out right here. Justin Moss is after this calf. He's going at him well that round, but who he on it? He's in. Justin He's Moss in. is six seconds away from moving in the top four of the shot at the million. Justin Moss needs that camp to stay tied, and it and looks he, like he's going to. He welded that rep. Mango showed him how to. And I'm going to tell you, he's after him right here. When he ropes his calf, he does a great job coming right behind it. And then when he, he gets hung up and it throws his timing off, but he grabs his calf in air and then lays him down. And Look then, how he lays him. And then he just slows down. He sees he's got that string barely on the Man. front foot, but he puts a tight wrap. Last year, Caleb Schmidt of Belleville, Texas. National Intercollegiate Champion from Warden County Junior College. Yeah, he won third at San, San Antonio last night. Won him about twelve or 14000 making a climb back in the standards. He just got, got through having his wife having a baby. Shout out to Brenna and little old crew Tatum down there in Belleville. They're not here today, but they're cheering him on for the home front. They've really talked about him, and I mean, got a figure eight on that tail. That's good. You Tough know, luck today. That happens when that calf slows up when he ropes him. That's what happens when he ropes him. That calf's slowing up into him. If he kept moving out, it wouldn't have happened. Yeah, right and, and Caleb's are standing up. Needs to break it flat across there. He needs to be quicker than 748. Patience in the stirrup. He can do it. Smooth. He's in it. He's oh, he bobbled the legs. Oh. And is going to just miss. That's what I, what I was talking about. You either win with that strength. I mean, you can't win with the strength. You lose with the strength. He was fixing to win with the strength. Oh, he was yeah. going to be 7'2 seven or 7'3. Seven oh, man. And he drops the legs. Man. He had it. He had it. He went an extra swing, set it up. Patience. Patience. It was like you said, right in the stirrup. He turned that calf around. He was in total control. He was. This is one of the things you don't usually see Fred do. This would be the good watching. Tyson Durfee won it here in 2014. He knows what it's like to be on that stage, to get the big check, to drive. I, or, or I should say haul home the Polaris Ranger, and there you go. He's after him. Oh, and he knows no. it right That's here. It. There That's you what go. we're talking about. That's the way to start it off. 686 for the Missouri man, Tyson Durfee. And you know this calf. Come on, baby. Stay down. Stay down, he says. Stay down. <laughs> That Barry ropes him crisp around the neck and handles the slack. And look, watch where this calf's standing when he gets but, to him. But look at this horse pull and bring him up mm. out of the ground. That's yeah. the key right there. He kind of went down, and that horse gave him two quick steps right there, brought him right up in his arms, and it didn't kill him off to, yeah. you know, kill uh, Tyson's go. He really he, pulled the slack out. Exactly. But what he can do? Justin Moss trying oh, to win some million. Oh, he goes oh, on him. Got him. He's after him. He's going to pull... This is the front leg right there. Drops it. Oh. Oh, so he oh. He didn't get the go he needed for that calf to get it around his neck. He's a long ways out there. I tell you, I think he was a little off the start right there. We'll see in the replay. I think he's a little off the start. He had to reach, and it just kind of went on. He can just kind of shut his go down, really reach a long step way. left. Yep. Step left when he went to rope. That even makes it farther. He's still not too bad right here he was still going to be fairly fast exactly he wasn't going to get the six but he might have been in there for... if he gets a little cleaner flank right here he gets that front leg that's why he dropped mm, the leg yeah, out there he was moving he had to take us to lay him down here's a good shot Five finals and he's going at this one he is look at Corey go no. gotta keep him keep him up gotta keep him up 
speed jam right there. 747 is a great time, but he needed to beat the 686 to get the million. So now it leaves Wade Sundell and Lisa Lockhart for the million. So Wade Sundell has cinched a $600,000 day today. <laughs> Man, Corey really knocks the start right there and just gets out of his zone a little bit and reaches, and he is after this sucker. If this calf is standing, he's going to get the 6-8. There's no doubt. Isn't it amazing what a million dollars will make you do? Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm going to reach. I'm not a reacher, but I'm going to reach. Hunter needs to beat the 686 to win the $100,000 for first place. Lost. Lost. There you he's go. Third. Look out. He was 6-6 at San Antonio the other night. He's after it. This is what I'm talking about. Hunter Heron is on fire. You know, and he knows that start that calf steps to the right, and he's in the barrier enough so when he sticks it on him, he can just spin him around. Apache Oklahoma is letting her rip right now. Hey, let me tell Woo! you, he is on a roll right now. You you can know him when you're on a roll. He just controls everything right here. Spins him around, puts his rabbit who he on. Good flanking means good time. His traveling partners are back there. You bet. Cheering him on like, like all right, you get to buy the gas now for a hey, while. Hey, that's what this is about. Nice job right there. See, he just spun him around and just, now he's not even in a hurry. He's just finishing up. Yeah. That, yeah, that's that hard smooth. to believe. You cannot be in a hurry and tie one at 6-7. Get that something. <laughs> that's awesome. That proves it. That proves that you can. Look Rip, at his. Hey, look at that.